Hello everyone, uh, this is Monday, uh, 8th of October, and we are going to do a daily or weekly, um, um, you know, analysis or the bursary that we see that uh, we have some opportunities. And we are going to have a look at Dollargen, very interesting pair, uh, this, uh, uh, days before and weeks before, very uptrending, very bullish. And I think uh, we have an, maybe an opportunity for a short uh, in this upcoming week, okay? Uh, I already made the analysis, but I just want to, to make it from zero, you know, uh, for you guys that are new to the channel and don't know us, well, we are a, basically a price action traders and I am using also a system based on Elliott wave analysis, but more like a new wave analysis, modern Elliott wave analysis. And um, hope you like it, hope you enjoy this video, the upcoming videos, please give it a like if you like it, and give it a subscribe button to, to get the, the, new, the new ones, okay? Um, and uh, yeah, we have uh, this uptrended market here. And let's get started, just, you know, just placing the small trend line here. Uh, I always uh, use it to, you know, to bring some support level and uh, maybe the X point, maybe, uh, you know, the uh, starting point of the trend or the starting point of the correction, as, as we saw this, this point here. And maybe we have like a one, two, three, four, five, Maybe we have it, or maybe the five is a little bit upsider. But let's centrate in this area. I think we can have, for example, some correction to reduce the trend line and maybe one more to the upside. Let's have a look at that. And well, we have here some, you know, some impulse move by ABC and then some correction as well. We, we can start to just uh, give the market some, some structures. Then we have some big here, okay, we have a top, we just break this top, okay. Once we break the top, the market is just uh, retracing a little bit more, okay. Then we have, for example, A, B, C, D, E. And we have here another pattern. It's got, for example, an A, B, C, D, E pattern. More like an ending diagonal, or and in triangle, shall we say. Here, maybe in those areas and those uh, minimums, we should have some divergence if you like to use it as well. Well, we are, we are, I'm not going to go into details of the system and all this stuff. It's more like uh, for to have some, some great opportunities. We have here maybe the, the first wave, okay? Some ABC correction, second wave. Maybe this is the third wave, We will have, for example, a zigzag here or uh, uh, some uh, corrective structure, maybe for the four, and maybe to get to the five, okay? For those guys that LA waivers, like classic LA waivers, they just use it, you know, the classic uh, theory that the four uh, can't go below the, the, the top of the first wave. I use it to, to go more below and give it some more space and sometimes the market uh, goes below the one but not below the two and I think this uh, second wave should be our support lever or something like that okay if you want to call it and uh, yeah the market in order to get this buy it maybe the stops uh, should be somewhere around here. I, I'm going for the for the buys. Maybe the buy, the five is is don't go any any longer. Maybe it's trunk away. No, we have we we don't have enough data to 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 look for that. But I think um, this is clear to now. Uh, we can make, for example, some trend line here. Very aggressive trend line. Okay, this is like an inter trend line, shall we say. <laughs> trend lines are very tricky to trade the market, you know. I think uh, it's like um, 
uh, an extra thing that we should have a look, you know, no, you, the first thing that you say, well, if the proxy the trend line you sell or you buy it only with the trend line, I think is, is not correct or maybe on, in our uh, historical uh, trades, you know. We broke the top, you know, and as, as, I, as we saw here in the past, uh, in July, you know, broke the top and we just uh, recover, make some correction and start the correction wave, yeah? Then I think we just broke in the top here. Maybe we can have some correction and start to, to have something like this or maybe a zigzag wave, something like that. It can be possible as well looking for short opportunities here or here and stops above the top can be a good opportunity. Okay, just continue here. And uh, I think we should have uh, some correction here. Maybe for example, this, this low can be very, very exciting to go for shorts and we can, for example, use some retracement, basic retracement. I use it uh, as well, some extensions, Fibonacci extensions. Uh, and it's in the community, almost nobody is, uh, is is looking about that, but uh, you should have a look in the, ne in the next couple of videos. If you like, you just leave it a comment and uh, we will have a look at that. Maybe this, uh, we can also take the, the start point from the, from, the, from the tool or from the X, you know, from the starting point. I think uh, both are correct, okay? Maybe we, we, just, we just get the, the, the second wave and somewhere around this area, 0.1, in 0 0.2036, I think it's a very good uh, opportunity to go short. Maybe here to stop above here, well, here we only have like a 50 pip stop loss, and maybe we just go for the 61, the classic 61, or maybe the, uh, the 0 0.5. Even the 0 0.78 should be a good idea as well. Let's have, um, let's see. As soon as we have, for example, the 38 or the 0 50, then we should have a half of positions, just move stops to break even and let the, let the rust run, you know? Then basically, I don't have, you know, exactly price here, we should, for example, we have, for example, an idea here, and maybe we just place the retracement here, classic one. Maybe we just look for the 88 and the 50 or the some somewhere around here. I think the first price that we have is like the 0 0.5. Let's have a look here. Yeah, and I think I have it here. Uh, sorry, because uh, sometimes I just wanted to think about it and just I just uh, close my microphone and then just continue to the uh, just continue to the presentation. And I say we have a clear structure. Maybe the market is just trying to go here. Maybe something like that, dun, 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 and maybe start to going up a little bit. Maybe the downside is a possibility. But uh, as we see the all correlation on all the market, I think we should have some correction and just continue higher. A 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you like it and if you want to to also analyze another page or just leave a comment. Uh, also to remind you, we have a weekly webinar and uh, and we will just leave the, in the comments, we just lay, uh, leave a link to register for the upcoming webinars and it's completely free uh, for now. <laughs> And uh, I just hope you learn something, you, you don't waste your time, and see you in the next video. Have a good day.